Glory to the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Today I would like to speak on the topic of the Antichrist. Nowhere in the Bible does it speak of the Antichrist. Now, it does speak of the son of perdition. And that man of sin being, being revealed. And that's about it. The Bible states that there are many Antichrists. Now, the question is, has the son of perdition been revealed in his time? And the answer is yes. See, most pre- and mid-tribulation rapturists uh, often state that, oh, the church has to be raptured before this is, um, before this happens. Well, I've got news for you. Tough luck. We know where the son of perdition dwells. And who he is. You turn to Revelation 17, 9 through 11. It tells you that he dwells where the seven mountains are. And it tells you that he's going into perdition. The eighth one is going in perdition. The, the last one. People, they are on the seventh king or pope where this woman sits at. You have one more that's coming. That This is how close we are. If we turn back to Revelation 13, we know that this place has horns like a lamb, but it speaks as a dragon. It exercised all the abilities of the first beast. In other words, killing, murdering, what have you, everything in the book. And last, it gives you the number of his name. If you were to look up the Vicar of Christ, uh, and it's something else that goes with it, uh, in Latin, do a little research, it has the number 666. They have this number all through their area codes and zip codes over there. And it equals up to this name. Now, it's the reason why that that it was written by identifying this man by the number of his name. And I talk about that in uh, the Here is Wisdom video. So, what do we have? We have the son of perdition, who will be revealed in his time, not the Antichrist. It's just the things that this man does shows that he has the Antichrist spirit. We have Rome that was wounded and healed. And this is Vatican, C Vatican City, and it sits on seven hills of mountains. We have the name, Vicar of Christ, and whatever else, uh, that equals 666. And then you have the King of Perdition, which is the Son of Perdition. And you have the eighth one, or the eighth king, that will be destroyed uh, at the brightness of Christ's coming. So, those who have an ear, let them hear what the Spirit is saying.